What's up guys, Brian here, and in this video, I am going to be teaching you how to make a pawn for, for chess. So these next seven videos, I'm going to post um, in the next week. So there's gonna be, so tomorrow or today, I guess, Friday, it's gonna be the pawn, Saturday the knight, Sunday the bishop, Monday the rook, Tuesday the king, Wednesday the queen, Thursday is going to be a, so all the videos into one, I'm going to edit them and stuff, and it's, I'm going to put all the tutorials into one video, um, and then, that was Thursday, and then Friday again, I am going to post a time lapse of me making a full chess set out of all these squares that I cut, so that's going to be cool, uh, but anyway, these instructions, these diagrams rather, are from the, the design of all these chess pieces are from uh, a guy named J uh, Joseph Joseph Wu. He his goal was basically to make a 3D chess set that was pretty easy to make, um, all from like, and it's all from a bird base. Um, these diagrams are online for free, and you can you can just look them up right now. But I made a little adjustment to, uh, to them. So this was following the instructions. This is the pawn and this was following the instructions exactly. And you notice how like the, I use the same size paper for both and you can see how like they're a different shape. This one's short and fat <laughs> and this one looks like a chess piece. So I, I made a, an adjustment to the steps to make them, to make the pieces thinner and taller and they look a lot better in my opinion no offense so you I mean once you watch this video you'll be able to apply the trick I did to the rest of the steps so if, if you want to if you want to go ahead and and make all the pieces before I put up the videos go for it my paper is oh and I finally I'd recommend five inch commie paper this is not well this is five inches but it's not commie paper but that's what I would recommend um, so we're going to, if, and I'd also finally recommend to follow along with this video using the diagrams. But without further ado, <laughs> let's get started. So step one, we're going to start white side up. So just make sure the white side of the paper is up. I mean, you're just making a bird base. So, but for the people that don't have the diagrams, I'm going to do every step. Uh, so we're going to fold the paper in half both ways. Okay, then you're going to flip it over. This is the colored side now. And we're going to fold it in half diagonally both ways. Okay. All right, so um, now flip the paper back over, push down the center, hold it like I am, and basically just push the corners in uh, and flatten it with two flaps on either side. So this is the, it's called the primary base, and we're gonna turn it into, or maybe the preliminary, pre preliminary base, uh, and we're gonna turn it into the bird base. So now we're gonna take top two flaps and fold them into the center. Take a top flap, fold it down as far as possible. Like so. Unfold these two flaps and now we're going to lift this flap and squash using the creases we've just made. Okay, and you get that. Now fold the flap down and do the same thing to the other side. So, fold the flaps in. Pull the top flap down, unfold all three. 
push this flap all the way to the top and the two flaps on either side, the two edges on either side can fold into the center like that. Finally take the top flap and fold it down. So this is the bird base. You are left with the bird base. Okay, we are now on step three and this is where um, this is where, let me zoom in really quick, I changed up the steps from the original model. And every single one of the unique pieces are made with this bird, from this bird base. So, actually it's, it's made from even something else. Um, one more step, yeah, one more step after this and then every piece is made from what we end up with. But first, I'm going to do, let's say, step 2.5, um, which is, well, there's a couple. So, um, let's make a reference crease. This is not in the original diagram. So we're gonna make a reference crease to the center like this. Um, and now we're gonna fold the corner to that reference crease. Okay. Like that and unfold, and now we are going to open sync that corner. Perfect. All right, and we do that to all the, the three, other, three other flaps. And to avoid making reference creases again, I'm, I'm just going to use this flap as the reference instead of folding up the paper a bunch of times. Okay, and now the other two flaps. Fold the corners in and then open sync them. And the whole, the whole point of me doing this was to make it thinner, it was to make the end model less fat, which ended up making it taller too, which was awesome. I, I really like how, um, how it all turned out. Finally, the last one. All right, uh, now we're you can just we're going back to the back to the diagrams and just pretend like if you if you're following the diagrams you can you can just pretend like you're like it's completely normal. So step three, um, fold the flaps to the center. Don't worry, we're not gonna we're not gonna open sync these. That would be difficult. Cool. All right, there we go. That was step three. So this is going to be uh, basically, basically the model, like the ending width. And imagine if we didn't open sync these corners. It each each one of these flaps would be bigger, right? And it wouldn't. It would end up fatter. It, it would end up like this. But anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking about that. Um, Step five, four, step four, we're going to fold this corner up. Um, and, then, and then unfold. And it's this, this right here, you can make every single piece with um, this. So yeah, if you 
you're, you're probably, if you're going to make a bunch of these, you're probably going to end up memorizing this. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. So we're making the pawn. So we go to step five. This is probably, this is like, this is the hardest step of the whole thing. And it's not even that hard. It's just hard to like understand what you need to do. So step five, it wants us to rabbit ear fold this thing. Okay. And to do that, we, we need to open up, open up this top flap and then take the part we're rabbit folding and kind of like curl it, curl it over. So like that. Um, and so the reference is from this point to, I don't have any, um, to this point right here where an invisible line would intersect this corner and this corner. So that that's going to look like this, basically. Okay, and now that we have that fold, unfold it and do it to the other side. So again, open the flap up. And fold this flap from this point to the same point as the other side. Okay, and now that we have those two creases, we're um, now just do them both, do both folds at the same time. And you'll end up with, you'll end up with this. Finally, just fold, fold this thing over to the right. Okay, and that's, that's the, that's the rabbit ear fold. Let's do the same thing to the other side. can't really you can't really get your finger in in there so you just have to like trust that you're that you're folding it correctly <laughs> if you're making a full set you'll you'll be doing it a lot so you, you get good at it but anyway let's finish the rabbit ear fold okay uh, so you end up with this right that was step five. That was, yeah, step five. <laughs> they just skipped step six, so that's fine. Um, step eight, we're going to, uh, we're gonna rotate all the flaps. And now we're gonna work on these, this flap and this flap. So we're gonna do the same basic thing. We're gonna rabbit ear fold, but this one's a lot easier. So just work, work with like what you already have. Basically, it's hard to explain, but if, if you, I mean, basically fold, fold the flap from, from there to there and there are reference points, but essentially it's just as far as you can fold it. It should end up being the same dimensions, only slightly bigger than the flaps you just folded last step. But anyway, once you once you make those folds, just fold it to the right. Now let's do the same thing. Yeah, you can almost like see the triangle already. Fold it over, fold it over. And do both folds at the same time and fold it to the right. Okay. So now we've got this, this little thing, four-eared bunny. Um, now we're going to take each one of these rabbit ears and squash it down. So we're gonna open it up and squash it down. Open it up, squash it down. Now rotate, rotate the flaps. Do it again for these two rabbit ears. 
Can I do both of them at the same time? Sort of. Alright, there we go. Okay, so ideally, all, all of these are at the same height. If you did it a little off, like I did, they won't be. So this one is a little too low, so I'm just going to make it slightly higher. It's a pretty easy fix. Okay, that's good enough. Um, it's not really a big deal, to be honest. But, alright, so here we go. That was step 10. Um, and from here, we have to change the page. So, if, if you're following the diagram. So now, we're on to step 1 now. Um, which is to... So... We're going to take this flap and kind of like fold it in, fold it on the inside. And to do that, we have to, we have to kind of pull this out and, and open the whole thing up. Well, not literally, but, and just reverse, just reverse, uh, these two folds. And then shove that in there. And then once we put the whole thing back together, th this whole flap back together, You'll see that it worked. See, that was easy. And it'll look like that. So it'll look like this instead of this. This flap is now on the inside. So let's do that three more times. Rotate the flaps. it again. This one's a little difficult, but I think I got it. There we go. The th uh, if, you probably should use thinner paper. It'll be easier to make this, but it might rip. I don't know. This, this printer, I'm using printer paper basically, and it's it's kind of difficult, but it, it's working. And this obviously isn't the biggest square you could make using printer paper. Um, if you did that, it would be easy, easier. But anyway, here we go. So that's um, so all four flaps are now shoved on the inside, basically, and we're on the last step for the pawn. Oh, I've second to last step, which is to look at or to go to all four flaps, and um, we're going to we're going to fold them to the center. So fold fold this edge and um into the center. So you're you're lining it up in the center, and then we're going to fold the other edge into the center. Um, so you end up with this, okay? They should not overlap. The two flaps you fold into the center should not overlap. And you'll end up with this. Oops, sorry. You'll end up with this. And we're gonna do that for the other three flaps. So let's do that. Okay, rotate the flaps. Oops. Carefully rotate the flaps. Fold them into the center, and one more to go. All right, and we're done. We're com well. Oh, sorry, sorry. One more. <laughs> God damn. One more step. One more step. Okay. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Do not rip the paper here. The last step is to is to um, make it 3D. Basically, push this in, not all the way, but and make it 3D. There are two ways to do this, and one way is completely wrong. 
The one way you might think of doing this first is to pull like this. Um, that will rip the paper 100% of the time. You have to press down on this tip while pulling gently. If you just pull and don't press down, it will rip. Okay? It'll rip. <laughs> so, pull and then press down at the top and it'll it'll push in and it's, it won't be neat at first but you, you have to just just rotate it push it um, far enough and then make it neater once it's pushed down okay and then I like to I like to pinch the corners like this um, so it so it basically sits flat You'll see, you'll see what I mean. But anyway, guys, here is the pawn. We're done. We're completely done. I hope you guys liked this. Um, lots of more videos coming. Lots of more videos coming. I am going to release one a day for the next week. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And if you don't like chess, um, they still look kind of cool. So if you, <laughs> you don't have to make them though. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to... <laughs> Make the rest of the chess set. You can click on the link in the description and follow the diagrams yourself, or you can wait for my videos. Either way, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.